Hello and welcome to um, the strangest video I've ever done, uh, <laughs> where we're going to be talking about Lord of the Rings. <laughs> Obviously we're not. Um, it, well, he might be. I'm not. Right, okay. So we've been listening to the audiobook on um, Audible. <laughs> And we have gone, because obviously we've watched films, we'd read books, yeah. but we'd never listened to it on Audible. No. And I've heard some amazing things. And since then, we have gone Harry Potter crazy. Yeah, it's been really bad. Again, we... it's like we've gone back 20 years. <laughs> <laughs> it's it is pretty 20 rough. years, isn't it? Is it? Since the first one came no, out. No, it's not. It was. No. Is it 15 or something? Anyway, so we've gone back like in time. For like twenty, no, because I wasn't. No, I might have been seven when it first. So we've been listening to, <laughs> we've been listening to the audiobook *Philosopher's Stone*, narrated by Stephen Fry, obviously J.K. Rowling or Rowling, obviously. Yeah. It? Yeah. Uh, and yeah, we have kind of got a little bit obsessed with it, and um, yeah. Well, I bought all the rest of the series. Are you going to do that soon as well? Yes. And I maybe, bought the second one. Yeah, uh, and I, I basically want to go through them all again because I don't think I've actually read like the last two books. No. I don't think. Obviously, I've seen all the films. I know the story, but it's not the same. It's not the same. So we decided to go Harry Potter mad yeah. again. I've always been a big fan. I've got yeah. loads of stuff Harry Potter related, which we I think we're going to do for a video. Yeah. Uh, we're going to go through a few collectible items, seeing mm -hmm. what people think of them and things yeah. like that. Yeah. Uh, which will be really fun. Obviously, we've got the wands. Uh <laughs> <laughs> we've got the chess set. Um, yeah. Yeah, so you're going to see more of that stuff uh, in videos to come, I think. Mm -hmm. um, but since we've done it, since we read it, we kind of went on Potter's more uh, yeah. to find out our houses. While one of us was at work. Yeah, okay, I was at work while I was finding out my Patronus, but that's oh. <laughs> it's not right. So, I got a Patronus of a dolphin. I don't know what I got. I didn't know. I've done it yet. Yeah, have I haven't done got, it I haven't yet. got my Patronus. I've got my house, though. Yeah, we've both got our houses. Um, chuffed to find out that I'm a dick. <laughs> Who knew? <laughs> Who knew? I'm just kind of a nobody. Yeah. You're... Actually, no, some people, good people, demonstrated by this wand, all Harry Potter fans yeah. will know. This is Tonk's wand, and you she had... came out of you uh, had a... Hufflepuff. She came out of Hufflepuff. Now, you had a problem with your wand, didn't you? I did have a problem with my wand. I was going to save it yeah. for the Harry oh. Potter sort of ish video that we're going to do. It just doesn't seem to fit in Lou's hoofs. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite a weird uh, a weird yeah. angle so it doesn't fit nicely in the hand so if you're going to swish it yeah. you've got a problem <laughs> yeah it does create a problem when you're out there trying to summon spells and things like that <laughs> it does create an issue um, so yes so since um, the audiobooks now have you got anything more to say on the audiobooks other yes, than I do. yes I do I was really I was trying I was trying I was like right how good this can be because yeah. Everything is five stars, thousands and thousands and thousands of Crazy, five yeah. star reviews. Yeah. And I was like, right, I'm going to be really critical. Yeah. No, it's five star. <laughs> it's brilliant. Like, well, let's talk about the narration first of all. Like, Stephen yeah. Fry, a huge fan of Stephen Fry. And I, um, if you've seen any of the last um, weekly wrap ups or the TBRs that we did, and I'm reading a lot of Stephen Fry's stuff now, or listening to on Audible, I should say, because of him narrating Harry Potter because he, he did such a fantastic job I mean his characters are spot on and Stephen Fry's just got that way with words I want to marry him basically <laughs> I, want to, I want to find him and I want to just be with him for quite a while yeah if not life yeah it's pretty good um, the, the voices it, that he did now you did have a problem with the characters yes I did right okay so who am I to question Stephen Fry I'm nobody now but when I first started listening, I was about three or four hours in, and I think like his Dumbledore and McGonagall and a few other characters kind of sound. It's just him. It's his yeah. voice. I'm not saying he's bad. I'm not because obviously I know the story really well, and he, he does an extremely good job of putting you in that. But all them kind of characters are a bit throwaway. They're a bit of a throwaway with his narration. But his Hagrid, his, I mean, his Snape's pretty pretty all right. But he's like, is Harry, Hermione, and Ron are kind of all the same? And it's just like a squeaky Stephen Fry. That was my only issue with it. But it wasn't bad. It didn't put me off or anything. It was just my only issue of I could just... It, I'd have liked to have seen more characters. But I know how hard that is. I think and I the can't Hagrid it, so. was amazing. Yeah. Absolutely really amazing. I think listening to the audio, even if you know the story inside out like mm -hmm. we did. Yeah. I think go back. If you haven't listened to it. Uh, listen to it yeah. it is incredible mm. it gets you straight back in and now when I read the story because um, I read it after I'd seen the film yeah. 
I didn't really like the book as much as the audiobook. I didn't really like the book as much as the film. I thought it lost out on a lot of detail compared to the film because it wasn't that long if you think about it. It's not as long as the others. <laughs> It's not as long as the others. Well, I do apologise, ladies and gentlemen, but I, I actually really enjoyed it. I thought the book was fantastic. I thought yeah, it was better than was the good. film, actually. Yeah, yeah, the book, well, right. But the audiobook, it just brings a whole new level. It's, it's I think, I mean, there's not many books. Um, I mean, we, we talk about this a lot. We're going to do a video on it about books that are better, is that I've experienced better in the audiobook version than in the print version. Now, I know that not many people enjoy the audiobook more than the print book or at least to say they don't uh, and i do get it on quite i mean 90 percent of them is just someone reading it and yeah they do nice characters put you in that story but so does the book there's nothing like getting invested within a print book but this is one of the exceptions yeah i think it creates not only a fantastic fresh element if i dare say so it creates a magical experience. No, no, it does. For the, we, for was, the we was proper in Hogwarts. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. At the time. We were both listening to it at the same time. Yeah. Um, like, you'd go down from work and yeah. be like, wait, I've got to get back into Harry Potter. And I was still yeah. at work going, I want to get into Harry yeah. Potter. Uh, but it was a little bit... I finished it in two days. Um, I think it took you a bit longer. Yeah, it always does, though. Always takes um, me Well, that's because I listen to it at the normal speed the audiobook uh, because I like to get into that world and I think the pacing of the narration is very important to get you into that thing she listens to it well basically they're like a mouse at the end of it <laughs> that is ridiculous the speed yeah, it's you can't take the speed. A, a lot triple of people, the speed at least no double a lot of people on YouTube that do listen to audiobooks to get through them and to get more books read uh, a lot of people do listen to the we pack it in with want <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, a lot of people do listen to them at double the speed. Uh, just Not to me. Get through. However, it didn't stop me enjoying it. If anything, I enjoyed it more. <laughs> <laughs> I enjoyed it quicker. <laughs> but like, yeah, so, so, I mean, did you, obviously you've read the book before you listened to the audiobook. Yeah. Did you, so what was the differences then? What was the main differences between the audiobook and the print book? Just everything. Stephen Fry can suck you into everything. You know this. Uh, no, too you well. Started, you started um, reading everything. Yeah. Uh, to do with Stephen Fry since doing that yeah. audiobook. Yeah. Um, he just sucks you in. The characters for me were fantastic. I didn't have a problem. I didn't have the same problem as you. Yeah. Um, and I can't wait to finish the rest of the series. I'm definitely going to rush through the rest of the series, mm. uh, and we might have to do another special. So just, we'll do. We'll do loads. Of we talk. I think we should do it when we talk about each and every one. I mean, you know this. You'll know the story of the first Harry Potter. If you don't, what are you doing? Yeah. Like, go and consume it in whatever genre, whatever medium. And I think say. now that the hype's kind of gone slightly, because um, it was hyped for years, yeah. and then what with Fantastic Beasts. Yeah, out. yeah. And I think people do sort of do d dull down yeah. from it a little yeah. bit. Uh, so now that the hype's gone, take your time, appreciate mm. it for what it is. What? I think... What I found out, actually, bringing in Fantastic Beasts, Beasts and there's another audiobook uh, narrated by Andrew Lincoln, which is Quidditch Through the Ages. Yeah. Now, you, you might already know this, but if you don't, I think I think it's quite interesting. Obviously, I know Fantastic Beasts was mentioned in, um, like, Hermione was reading it. And uh, what was really cool is that, um, obviously, if you know this, I'm going to sound like an idiot, but when uh, he first gets a letter from Hogwarts and he tells him all the um, equipment he'll need, uh, for joining Hogwarts, Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them is mentioned yeah. in that list, which is awesome. It's really cool. And then also, when Harry is getting prepared for his Quidditch, for his first Quidditch game, he gets given a book which is Quidditch Through the Ages, which is now available on yeah. Audible, and read, uh, narrated I'm, by Andrew I'm kind of going to do it in order. I think I'm going to mm. carry on listening to Stephen Fry. Then yeah. I'm going to move on to Eddie Redmayne's uh, yeah. version. That is a really short book. Is it's it? It's really short. Is it? It's like the Quidditch thing. It's really super short. It's for a few hours. A couple like two of or three hours, hours, yeah. Wow, wow. Um, but it's really, really short. Um, which surprised me because Fantastic Beasts, what a hell of a film. Yeah, it was a good film. It was a really it was good film. The animals, everything. Was uh, awesome. Have you read The Cursed Child? The, no, um, yeah, I've got it. I've you? got the hard copy of it. Yeah. Uh, yeah so yeah. we might have to do that. Is that. That's the Broadway now being done on Broadway, yes. isn't it? Yeah. Uh, so we might have to do it, yeah, because they got into it. trouble. Did they? Oh, with the owls. owls. Yeah, that's bad. So bad, bad. Bad, bad, bad. Animal cruelty, bad, bad. <laughs> uh, so, yes. Um, so, yeah, we might have to read that because it is a screenplay version. So, I've got... Is it? Mm. Right. We might yeah. act it out on a video. Yeah, we'll do that. I think some yeah. sort of 
thing. Yeah. Anyway, so yeah, so that was our sum up. We can't do anything else. I wish I could kind of say, oh, yeah, well, I didn't agree with all yeah. the other people. But no, I think you struggle not but to agree. Basically, to take away something from this video, <laughs> if you can take away anything, is if you haven't listened to the audiobook version of Harry Potter and you're in a bit of a lull with your reading or you're just a ready for something else, ready to get invested into something else, this is the way to get invested back again into Hogsmeade. <laughs> well, that whole kind of world. And it was, it was just, it was, definitely, it was definitely a fresh new perspective, a new experience, a heightened experience uh, of, the, of, the, of the original book. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, and we are going to be doing some more Harry Potter related stuff. Yeah, we are. Because I cannot wait to get all my Harry Potter collectible <laughs> stuff out. I can't wait for mm. it. So you're going to put on a cloak? Um, I haven't got a cloak. No one will let me buy yeah. one. Yeah. Um, but I, might I did. Use... Every time I drag you into a Harry Potter store, you're always like, oh, God. Because I come out with like ones, like that wand we bought in London. Yeah. And you had to carry it so I didn't play with it on the train. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes. yes. Um, but it's amazing. Uh, so, yeah, let us know your thoughts on... Mm. Uh, Harry Potter if you've listened to the audiobook was it better for you mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, let us know what collectibles you've got if you've got this wand let me know if you had the same problem let me know if it fits into your hooves <laughs> uh, that wand's beautiful it's well great. it's the uh, it's from the Deathly Hallows isn't it yeah it's a Dumbledore Dumbledore wand and it's great it fits into the hand nicely <laughs> it fits into the hand nicely Oh, I've just smudged my scar. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very, very much for watching this really weird video. Yeah. Uh, and do check out all the other videos. Be part of the uh, notification entourage. -ini. And scribe. And scribe. Uh, and yes, thank you very much. And we'll see you later. Do one, one thing. I'm going to magic us out of the video. Video endus.